Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in San Francisco, California, with with a frauder with such a sense of entitlement that he thought federal law dictated that he could enter a privately owned business and do whatever the hell he wanted to. Man, oh man, these frauders are just getting more brazen and dumber all the time. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This is the man who's refusing to let me get a copy of OpenAI's tax returns in violation of 26 USC 6104D. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the Pioneer Building, located in San Francisco, Of course, California. that would not be true. Hey, listen, dude. OpenAI is a privately owned business that, while, well, yeah, is non-profit and their tax returns are available for the public to see upon request, you just can't barge your way in there as if you own the place and demand to see everything in sight, which... Later on in this video, you will try that and say that you are entitled to do so. So yeah, we've got an entitled moronic frauditor on our hands who thinks he knows everything. Perhaps an Audit Them 2.0. Maybe that kind of frauditor. You're trying to maintain the access control for the building. I don't know um, exactly who this man is. but I'm I gave you my driver's license, so I'm pretty I sure can. you do know who I am. Well... Thank you for your time, and I appreciate it. Hey. Hi there, who are you? Can I ask who you are? Sure, my name's Aaron Greenspan. Uh -huh. This is Aaron Greenspan, his driver's license number. He works for a company called Plainsight. Okay. And he uh, is here to demand the tax returns that's his phone number and his um, his email number. I, I've taken his information and I told him that I would be more than happy to forward this up through the channels that might be able to assist him in the future. I had a hard time getting him out the door. Yeah, that's not true. His way in there. I've asked the that's also not true. Down here to assist me. Uh, I'm on, happy to speak to the police. I just got him out here on the sidewalk. He, he tried to force his way in. That's the false. Was... Uh, dude, uh, false. Uh, I don't think so, considering later on in the video, you try to force your way in several times. So if you did it those times, I'm sure you did it uh, right there at the beginning before uh, you uh, show us the, your footage. So I'm calling you out as a freaking liar. So if you uh, didn't do what you're saying, uh, put your money where your mouth is and show us the damn footage. That's also not true. Uh, I just got him out here outside the area into the public domain. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I'm not getting much cooperation after all the things that I have. So. Got it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can we step inside and yeah. step for a moment? Sounds good. Aaron, can you wait for us? Yeah, just so you Thank know, you. the law is 26 U.S.C. 6104D. Okay. Now, uh, this was originally a four-part video, apparently, but... Part two has disappeared somewhere, so let's pick it up on part three, shall we? Five minutes later. So, so or excuse me, I excuse you need me. to wait outside. I've told you before, I this actually is private don't. property. It's you not. Have to get out. Please do not touch Please, me, sir. This is the third time. Please do not hang touch on, me, on, sir. I need you to step off the property. There's a federal law saying I'm entitled to come inside. Oh, really? Which federal law would that be? So, because I need a citation for that. Because I think you're nothing but a big moronic liar who, uh, well, is suffering from a massive case of the Dunning-Kruger effect. No, I'm not no, on your property no, no. right you now. You are on the property. I'm Across, on a sidewalk. No. It's an ADA accessible no, sidewalk. No. Listen, here is the property. No, there is I'm on public. a sidewalk, sir. Yeah, this business matter. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You need to step outside. Hold on. You need to step outside. No, I don't. We can all talk for a second. No, don't. Just stand by the door. We'll leave the door open just while we figure this out. Sorry. Don't worry. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Okay, uh, earlier you said that you never forced your way onto this property. Well, I'm willing to bet that you're a freaking liar with this uh, sense of entitlement because, well, you just stated that uh, you're entitled to be here and what do entitled people like to do? Shove their way into places that they don't belong. The gentleman showed up like about an hour ago refusing to leave the property. Uh, he does he, need he, to close the door. Dante, Dante, can, 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 can you guys I'm just let us try to figure this out? We can't figure any of this out unless you guys let us figure it out. Here's the thing. He doesn't belong here. He's an Get him outside the building. This is, Dante, this this is private place. property. I know. Don't get take, him outside. Just give him a minute, okay? They're here for us. I understand. Thank you. Yeah, he does need to shut that door because it's private. Can you just move past that and try to figure this out over here? Here. Who is he? Okay. He, doesn't, he doesn't work here? No. He has no, he has no business here? No. Okay. Uh, he's identified himself to me. I've got his information. Uh, for this California driver's yeah. license. Okay. Well, either way, you no problem. No, no. Okay. Thank you. Do you mind we talk to you? No problem. Uh, what's your name? Aaron Greenspan. Aaron? Right. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's going on here? So, OpenAI is headquartered here. Yes. They're a nonprofit organization under the Internal Revenue Code. Because they're a nonprofit organization, they have public disclosure requirements under federal law. One of those requirements is that if you appear at their headquarters, person to 26 USC 6104D, they are required by law immediately to provide a copy of their tax returns. So I came here as a member of the public to get a copy of their tax returns, which federal law says I am entitled to do. Okay. And they're saying that I don't have that right, which is incorrect. Did you try to contact their, their supervisors or anything? Yeah, they won't let me talk to anybody. Did you try calling? I called their CPAs this morning. Kind of. What did they say? They said to come here. Did they say that? Do you have a name? Uh, yes, I can tell you the name of the firm. A little longer than a few minutes later. Uh, what's your name again? Aaron. Aaron. Do you mind just talking to me? Sure. So, we're saying that whatever you're trying to look for, they yeah. can't provide it you here. They can do it electronically. Here. Whether I, I don't I don't work here, right? I know. And and they they could be giving me the end around. I wouldn't know. But they're saying that no one here currently, the day before Thanksgiving, is gonna be able to give you that. That's not true. I I'm again, I don't work there. I'm not I'm not disputing it, that's what they're telling me. All I get is that's what space value is. Um they're okay if you record here because yeah, right. even they know that this is a public sidewalk. You have every right to be yeah, here, okay. right? But the moment you start going through, I think they're going to pursue criminal charges Charlie, for trespassing. And, yeah, and, that's going to get thrown out, but okay. And that's, that's not where, where we're going to decide, like, oh, that's not trespassing because that's not where we're going to. We're going to decide that at court, right? right? We're going to let a judge decide that. They're okay with you and the sidewalk as long as you're not trying to go in with the right with so employees. what about the federal law that says i have the right to this information now for the next five six minutes or so this idiotic frauder spins trying to go in circles with the officer trying to get them to let him back in the building so he can harass them again but the officers don't relent and he ends up walking away after a while. I mean, if it's so damn important, why don't you come back later on and try to set up an appointment or something like that? Don't come around here acting like a damn jackass. But where's the fun in that? Because a lot of these guys want to be professional assholes anyway. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?